Hi folks, Scott Weaver again from Factory Drip Window Treatments. If you watched my first segment, I explained how to put this uh, roll-e system together. And now we're going to go ahead and string it. And I want to want to show you some important parts about this first. Um, and you're looking at the back side of my shade. And I went ahead, this is all put together. And you notice that here's the shift brackets. Each shift bracket lines up with each ring, with the, each column of rings. And we talked about this little flute on the top here. And you want this flute, before you start stringing it, to line up with each one of these little slots that are on the top of it. And uh, another important um, part that you want to consider is, uh, as we explained, that, that this, if you can see this is moving, that before you string it, you want to make sure it's all the way pushed into the clutch. Um, and all the, these little screw eyes, of course, are in between each one of these shift, shift brackets um, to accommodate the string. Since there is no shift bracket on the clutch side or the furthest end, um, and the reason why there isn't one because it would get knocked into um, as it was moving. So there's only a little screw eye here. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and string this shade. Now this shade is strung from the bottom going upward. So my first, you're going to put it through each one of your lift rings. And over here, there's also, on this side, there's a little ring right here. And that little ring gets mounted very close to the clutch, um, but you don't want it to rub into the clutch. Now you're going to bring this string through, like so, and then back through. See, each one of these have a little hollowed out part that you can bring the strings right through. So I went from this screw eye underneath the clutch, underneath this first um, lift, lift cord or bracket, and now I'm going to put it through this screw eye and I'm going to tie a little knot. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to get a lot of string so I can bring this right over to you. So I've got it through that screw eye. I'm just going to bring this right over so I can show you how to lock this in. As you can see, there's that little spot that accommodates that knot. So when you see me do this, you're going to come and you're going to put that in to that spot. And that's what's going to hold that in right there. So. Get some of this cord back out here. So I'm going to go ahead and lock it in. Like so. Now the first one gets mounted underneath this bar. Like so. And the knot is on this side of it. Um, it's always going to be on the, the, the opposite side of where your, uh, um, your, your, um, your cord is, your, your clutch. So that's the first one. And then Then you're going to leave that string about eight inches longer tighten it up and leave it about eight inches longer
on this end. Just like that. You're not tying this knot yet. Matter of fact, you have to hang this shade up and get good tension on it before you can hang it. Now we're going to go to the next one. Going through each. Now this time, with this one, we're going to put it through the hole right here on the top of it, just like that, and we're going to tie another knot. And this time we're going to use the same procedure with the cord clip, where the, you look for the knot, where the, where the knot's going to fit into it like so and this knot is always going this way if your clutch is on your right hand side and then you're going to lock it in and this position is totally different from the first position and it looks like that get my hand out of there and now this the next for the next four you can step you can do the same procedure as what I just did for these right here but to save time I'm not going to um, string each one of them I'm going to go to the end one so you can see with the end one but you're going to follow the same step as I did on that first one with the next three now we're going to head over to the end. I'm going to show you where this one goes. Now, this one goes through this screw eye right here. Now the screw eye lines up with the, the column of rings that you have. And I'm talking about, also going to talk about this bar placement. I like to have this bar, um, I don't put it in the center of the board. If you're using a larger board than um, an inch and a half, I always like to keep the, um, this offset so it's closer to the shade. It just, um, it, it just is more helpful to the shade um, if this is mounted closer to it. Now on this one, we're going to take this and we're going to put it through, just like that, right through that screw eye. Again, we're going to tie another knot. And we're going to grab another cord clip. This little guy is going to be mounted the same position as the other one, right into here. Okay, now, all of these, on these shift brackets, are all going to be mounted on this, on this flute right here. And they're all going to line up just the way I have this one. And these two are going to be in the same position 
on the same flute. You see, I've got them both in the same position. And you want to make sure that this, if you're looking at this, um, this bracket, and where and each one of these are going to be in front of this, and these brackets that are mounted underneath are just over, um, a little bit over to the screw eye. You don't want it on this side, whoops, just pop that off. You don't want it on this side of the screw eye. The correct positioning is on this side of the screw eye. It's not always easy getting these in here like that. As I'm fumbling around here. Hold on guys, I, I will get this. Okay. Bring this a little closer to you so you can see it. Um, that's my first one right here. Looks like that. And then my second one's going to continue to look the same way. And these, if I turn it this way, you can see. Now you're also going to see, now this is where the shade would be in its correct position, like this. And you see how this drops down on top, right? So it's even. We're fairly close to being even, and the same way on this one. And, and that's how you're going to string it. My next segment, um, I'm going to have this, I'm going to complete this, I'm going to put it on the wall, I'm going to show you how to tie off the bottom strings and um, how it goes up and down. Thank you very much for watching. Scott Weaver from Factory Direct Window Treatment.